Hello everybody, today we are going to use the Turtle Library in Python to create a garden of flowers. So, Turtle Library is a library that we use to create lines and different shapes on the screen. It uses a little creator that runs on the screen and creates like a line underneath it. So, first of all we need to import the Turtle Library. Now let's see how the Turtle Library works. Turtle as a function it's called forward. We can use this function with the amount of bases we want the little creator to run forward on our screen. And when the creator is running on our screen, it will create a line underneath itself and uh, we could uh, see it in the turtle window. Just so if we want to see it, we need to write at the end of our code turtle.dam. If you want to do that, the window will just close right after we start our program. So let's see that. As you can see, it created a line on the screen. That's what 100 units looks like. So 100 is a bit much for our, uh, what we are trying to do today. Let's start with third. So we want to create a flower. To create a flower, we need some petals, a stem, but we don't want just one flower, we want a bunch of flowers. So let's start by creating a function that creates one petal. So, first of all, we move for 30 bases. Then we tell the turtle to turn. Let's tell it turn right 45 degrees. And then we'll tell it to move forward another 30. And if we run that, you can see we created something that looks like half of a rhombus. If we do it again right to the other side, it will be the full rhombus. So this is how our petals would look like. Just one line, 45 degree angle, another line, then 135 degrees to go right the other way, one line, another 45 degrees, and we get to the very start. So let's see that. So after that line, we need to turn right again. To complete our ambus, we need to do it 135 degrees. And then, we are going to do that just two times in a row. So there is a very nice function in Python, a very nice loop in Python, that's called for and we can use a range of two to do whatever is in that four two times. So if we run our code again, we can see that we created a rhombus. That, uh, that rhombus is what we would call our pattern. So let's just call this function a draw pal. Okay? Because it's a function, we can call it wherever we want, so let's just see that our function works as intended, and as you can see, we created the pile. Now, the flower we are going to create today is going to consist of four petals, so one petal is not enough. Let's try to do it now. Let's try to draw four petals together in a function that we are going to go draw flower. So here is the function draw flower. We are going to first of all draw. A, we're going to first of all turn control forty five degrees to the left. So we will turn the turtle 45 degrees to the left. And then we're going to draw our pedal and turn 90 degrees to the left because we want to draw it four times. So let's do it in a for loop. We'll draw a paddle. And 
and then we can turn to the left another 90 degrees so we'll do a full circle so let's see that oh, oops I didn't call the right function let's see that so as you can see we are creating our very beautiful flower now the only thing we need to finish the flower is to create to draw its stem so to draw the stem first of all we need to turn our travel face the right to face the right way and then we'll create its stem by just moving forward another couple of paces <laughs> 150 is a lot but yes flowers have a long stem as you will see our flower is upside down right now but when we draw the flower bed all of our garden it's going to be right side up because we are going to turn on turtle 180 degrees but that will come later so let's see our flower so as you can see the flower is a bit upside down but we are going to change it later so it will be right side up now to create a flower garden we need flowers with a little distance between one another if we create this flower the flowers right on top of each other we won't see anything we see only one flower so after we create this flower we need to move it a little bit to the left or the right so it would create another flower not on top of itself so let's do that we'll call that function draw flower and fence this function is going to call the function created before draw flower and then we're going to uh, do the thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our turtle to the right 90 degrees and use another function in turtle which is called up the function up makes it so that we can move the critter on the screen without creating any new lights so in that way we could create we could move the critter to the next place where we want to try, start drawing the flower and it won't draw anything until we tell it to with another function that we are going to use turtle.down so we just need to move the turtle again 150 degrees forward and then we are going to turn the left 90 degrees okay. so turn to the right 90 degrees then move forward again and then turn the left 90 degrees and now we call the function tell the down this means that next time we try to start drawing another flower our turtle will draw and won't just sit there in the air like we will see right now. So as you can see, the turtle draws the flower and right after it draws the uh, we didn't run the right function. <laughs> so if we run the right function this time, as you can see the turtle draws the flower and right after it draws the flower it moves to the next place where another flower should be. Now. As I said before, the flowers are now upside down, but we are going to change it in the next function so that all the flowers will be the right side up. So let's see that. So the next function is going to draw the whole flower bed all over the garden. 
this is we call it drop flower bed. Now in this function we want to start by moving the turtle to a place where it won't draw off the screen. So let's put turtle up. Let's move it. Let's say 150 paces to the right and then uh, we'll turn it 180 degrees. Now when we click to draw the flowers it wouldn't draw them upside down. So now we tell the turtle to go down so it could be it will be able to draw whatever we tell it to draw. And then let's call four times again our flower draw flower and events function. And if we did everything right, if we call the function draw flower bread, you can see they draw a flower another flower another one another one so we created a flower garden using the turtle library in python this is a very nice exercise for starters and if you can do that you can probably do many other things. I have many other passions in Python, especially machine learning and data science. So this is just a start, but if you want to learn more and you want to be a part of this channel, click like and subscribe and punch the bell and maybe I would upload another video that is more interesting in the realm of data science and machine learning, artificial intelligence and if I have passion projects, they are going to be here, so I hope you all enjoy, thanks for watching.